good evening welcome to my 10x investor education channel disclaimer this is not an advice please trade at your own risk and this is just my opinion below i describe what stocks i own okay so today's video title is why aurora cannabis went up 28% today and how do you profit from cannabis investing so let us see before we continue there is a like button like this one at the bottom of the video please click that button and as you know i spend hours in getting the information and collecting the making this video okay let's go into the details so as per the 3d ameritrade hypothesis shares of several cannabis companies trading higher strength potentially related to trump administration indicating that it was ready to begin transition process of joe biden okay so that is hypothesis for today but that is actually has been these stocks have been growing for a while almost since electoral time when democrats were leading okay so i will still further shows different news why these stocks are trading higher okay so let's get into some technical details about the whole sector okay it's not just aurora cannabis there are couple of interesting stocks in this sector let's get into some of those technical details as you can see here these are some of the most popular publicly traded cannabis stocks on new york stock exchange or nasdaq stock exchange so as you can see here so i saw if you look at them these are the 52 week change so if you can look at them still aurora cannabis sundial growers or till ray have still lost the highest amount in this sphere so they are too far from 52 week high so from 52 week high they lost like 92% 71% and 65% that's one of the reason i could say these are the stocks that gain the highest expecting that highest growth in the stocks so aurora cannabis went up by 28% sundial 25% remember sundial is a penny stock i'll talk about that stock later uh, till ray 17.2% as you can also see that regular volume of this is 28 million it is trading close to 82 million today similarly sundial growers 100 million regular regular volume is growing six times same with other stocks so they are trading with heavy volume today okay so let us see and also one more note to see is you can see the stocks that are closest to 52 week highs are basically grow generation afria canopy growth company and also chronos so these are the stocks you can say buy high trade high okay these are the stocks you can say falling knives okay so let's get into some of the stocks and also just want before going to next details i want to show by market cap canopy growth is the biggest company with 10 billion dollar market cap and then sundial is a uh, penny cap stock and then grow generation is different type of company but i will let you know soon and also g g and all some of these companies actually make money in a sense like they are profitable as you can see here earning per share is positive for some of these companies aurora chronos and then afria and then true leave cannabis company which i'll get into the details and if you look at all these companies the cheapest company is turning point brands with the pe of 13.78 and then um, fa and uh, true leave cannabis is trading with the pe of 22 okay so let's get to some of the details as you can see here GW Pharmaceuticals is trading with high PE, which is a four billion dollar company. Okay, so I have been following this sector for a while, since I know these guys will go up crazy and invested for a while since Democrats leading in the polls. So it's not a new thing now, but I have been following this. Okay, so I have invested. For example, this is a investment sample investment in my in Canopy Growth. Uh, i have few stocks and then my return is around 60% and and i recently did cover calls on this one close to 20% money so on this one is close to 80% so far this year 
okay so wait until the end of the video for a great investment strategy and how you pick what stocks you want in this sector okay so this is con news continuation biden campaign adjust voters to tout for marijuana decriminalization pledge and also kamala harris the day kamala harris said hey we will decriminalize pot in the debate since the day since october 8th since the debate these post tax have been crazy they have went on crazy for almost one week and then they cooled down for a while okay so let's get into details of why i believe this sector has a large long potential and huge potential okay this is an article from news magazine it says that global cannabis market was valued at 10 billion dollar in 2018 and then is 2026 will be valued at 100 billion dollars close to 100 billion dollars which is 10 times the potential of 2018 so this is even this is an old article 2019 article this is not even based on information that more states are legalizing now and and joe biden if they legalize at federal level and more states are legal then there is i think this numbers is nowhere it i think it will be like 150 or 200 billion dollar by 2026 because you can see so many companies came in already and some of them are anywhere between 5 to 10 billion dollar already so which means it's not 20 billion anymore it's like more like 40 billion right now it can go to up to 200 billion by 2026 okay so let's get into further details so again this sector like any other sector has a lot of company lot of companies in world so there are lot of risky investments you have to be really careful how you choose and invest in the right company to take advantage of the growth in the sector so you need to understand what the biggest players are and how safe they are okay so let's get into first one afria afria is in leamington ontario headquartered in the one important thing you need to know is they are they are placed in both medical and recreational cannabis they are not just canada and us they have more than 10 additional countries outside canada including germany where so basically internationally well diversified and with a decent amount of products okay so in november 2020 they acquired sweet water brewing company so keep this in mind every every one of this big cannabis companies they are tied up or a, with a brewing company or a liquor company okay so they trade both in toronto stock exchange and nasdaq okay that is about afria so let's get into canopy growth so by market cap this is the biggest company against smith falls ontario again another canadian company so basically world's largest cannabis company with market capitalization so the one important thing to know is a liquor company of 40 billion dollar worth constellation brands so controls around 35 to 40 percent of the company so they bought this company so this company is behind the sweet water brewing and this company is with constellation brands okay so let's get into chronos chronos group in are incorporates a cannabis company both in united states and internationally so it's not purely in canada in united states so it's canada internationally and also based in toronto okay so they also have multiple products they also distribute hemp derived supplements and cosmetic products through e-commerce retail and hospitals and partner channels so these are the brands some of their brands okay the most important thing to know is like canopy is tied up with constellation brands altria owns 45% of chronos i everybody knows altria i don't have to tell they are the you know one of the biggest companies in us again okay so i want to cover two more stocks so one is true leaf cannabis what is this true leaf cannabis it's a 800 pound gorilla of florida medical cannabis so this is mainly based in florida and this is mainly based in medical cannabis market so this is vertically integrated cannabis operator roughly half of the market so they own 50% of the florida market so they had a great quarter with 120 million dollar in quarter to revenue and 20% quarter to quarter growth okay so it also has a good earnings of 6 million so it's they are profitable with a great 
growth and also good revenue okay so even the florida is the main thing they are slowly getting into other states including california massachusetts connecticut okay so next my most favorite stock of this is called grow generation grow generation is not even a cannabis stock okay so listen carefully it's not a cannabis stock but they are the brick and mortar of cannabis stocks you can think of it's is a picks and shovels play in cannabis industry what do they do so the main reason why the cannabis stocks are not doing great for last couple of years because there are too many companies too much commodity and not able to make enough profits that's the main reason so when you have too many competitors too much commodity and the commodity price is low it is difficult to make a profit okay but grow generation doesn't matter they don't sell cannabis what they do is they retail hydroponic and organic specialty gardening retail outlets so they are big into hydroponic okay okay so and also what they do is basically they sell all the equipment needed for cannabis including the fertilizer including the lightning including the all other equipment so that they you know they can go they can grow the company so basically it is engaged in selling products such as organic nutrients soils advanced lighting technology hydroponic and aquaponic equipment and other products needed to grow indoors and outdoors so most of the cannabis companies they grow indoors so they need all this material to grow this so it doesn't matter what the price of cannabis how competition it is these guys are minting money because they have been growing like crazy so as you can see here revenue of 44 million dollars and 123% over and third quarter has been very robust and 30% stock price jumped after third quarter results so can grow generation keep the momentum going i think so because they are only in 10 states right now they are planning to go to all 50 sto- 50 stores in a in 15 states next year okay so this is what will motivate them to grow both their revenue and profits as well okay so this is what i want to describe why one reason why aurora and tilray went up big time okay so all these stocks are robin hood 100 most popular i am showing the charts below here 100 most popular 100 most popular at the peak in 2018 the aurora cannabis stock was trading at 130 dollars right now it is trading at 9 dollars and 20 cents it went all the way back to 4 or 5 dollars at the bottom so it came from back from the bottom it doubled okay so i'm not saying it will go from 9 dollars to 130 dollars this year or even next year but look at this till rate at the peak 2018 this is one of the first companies in canada to go public and that crazy happened this is as soon as went public in couple of months it reached high of 150 dollars and since then it has been going down because they are not making too much profits okay so it's 146 dollars right now 8 dollars and it went all the way to 3 or 4 dollars so it can can it go to 150 dollars i don't know but it can certainly these have anywhere between 50 to 100 percent potential returns in next couple of days to couple of weeks okay so as you can see here they are too far from their peaks okay that's the reason why these stocks will have the highest momentum and also highest potential short term gains okay so as you can see here these are kind of this is 92% buy and 60% hold okay so you can ask different rating agencies some rate canopy growth as the best stock some rate afria as the best stock so the best way is to own both okay i own both and uh, i made profit in both of them so afria you can see the peak is 12 dollars it's almost there already it is bottom at 2 dollars in almost there right now at the 50% of the peak okay can have we growth also same it's 52 high and almost there at the 50 50% of the peak again okay so coming back 
the most important thing to know is how do you invest i know i gave you a lot of information it might be confusing sometimes i'm not telling you to buy this stock okay but the thing is it is in a 10x investor education not to tell you just go and buy this stock but understand the details around why the purpose are doing first of all you need to understand whether you are a trader or a long term investor okay so a lot of traders do not make money in short time okay they make and they lose they make their your strategy you need to know when you buy a stock what is your exit strategy okay so figure out what it is so if you are a trader as i was telling you aurora cannabis and tilray has a short term good potential to go big in short term okay since they have been very down for the year okay so and also the penny stock sundel grosses has a chance to double or triple from the current price of 30 cents for long term cannabis investment usually i like canopy growth and afria these are both are well rated okay so the best momentum and favorite hyper growth which is not even a cannabis stock is called grow generation this this company actually supplies a lot of material to this all these companies okay so then if you are not interested in buying any of the stocks but still wanted to stay in cannabis market there is one best etf with highest market cap it's called etfmg alternative harvest etf symbol is mj so these are the stocks owned by mj at this proportion so this is not a well diversified portfolio this is purely cannabis stocks as you can see here it, it owns 10% based on this you can tell okay canopy growth has a good potential so they own 10% of canopy growth chronos tilray and also gw pharma okay so why am i in invested what am i invested in this is the most important thing i want to let you know okay so the stocks i am invested in mj which is an etf canopy growth afria and also growth generation okay so whereas aurora cannabis and sundial i have both options okay so certainly aurora and sundial could be my short term trade and rest of the stocks could be long term growth stocks that is where i am thinking right now based on how those four stocks do i might lose a position or two and or i might add another position or two so i hope you had en- enough information to make a decision whether to want to invest in cannabis or not please click on the like button and see you tomorrow for another exciting video thank you